All right, people, welcome back. Not a big. Woo. Yes, so this is season one, week four, match three. So uh, go ahead and tell us what we're All seeing right. today. This is a divisional match in the YCS division. Uh, it is between the Yuma Utopians, pops here, whose decks are Necros, Volcanic Light Swans, zero points in his division so far. And against uh, Luna, who is the Kite Galaxy Photons, whose decks are Clown Blade as his tier 1, Yusenju is tier 2, Midolce is tier 3, who has 1 point. So, uh, yeah, as you can clearly see, definitely Yusenju. Ooh! Ooh! And it's going to be Yusenju uh, tier 2 versus tier 1 Pops Necro. So, let's see if, it, you know, I, I definitely say Yusenju's are, are tier 2. They're not upper tier 2, I definitely say they're mid. Uh, they, yeah. they they fade in and out of popularity, but this should be interesting to see. So, uh, it doesn't look like the the T King will be able to lock down the search. Maybe he's just gonna pops is just gonna summon something to run over the T King. Well, unless he's got like a forbidden lance or something. And no gonna... snap. Okay, attack. It's fifteen hundred. Damage. Damage, damage calc. Out. Damage calc. Yeah. yeah. Lance. Lance. Ooh. Oh, wow. All right, yeah. Okay. Oops. If you play this turn, you can just cut this card and target one Necro's monster you control against a thousand Gains attack a thousand, yeah. until the end of this turn. So, boosts up to 2,500 and runs over that pesky T-King. Yep. So, of course, uh, when points break down, if uh, Lunar wins, Lunar shall be getting two points, but Pops will only get one point if he wins. But, uh, you know, at this point, every point counts. I mean, if Pops beats Lunar right now, then essentially he's ahead of Lunar because they would both have one point but then, when we look at points uh, at the end for who's tied, it's whoever won the duel. So essentially, this would be a double victory for Pops, if, and it would put Pops ahead of Lunar. Yeah. Well, Lunar, are you there? <laughs> Lunar. Lunar. <laughs> uh, mm, is it too late to book? So what, that's what he's facing. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's not too late to book. No, as soon as no. he declares the attack. He didn't allow him to, to uh, respond, so when he declares the attack, he can book a move at attack declaration. So, but, kinda, because of the decide storm, but no, because he just went straight into and said damage calculation and didn't give him time to respond. So, no, decide storm, go back to the hand, and the monster shall be booked at attack decoration. And that's one of the problems with DN, that you can do everything and anything you want to do, so, yeah. Unless you're completely on the ball, yeah. All right, so this is going to require some uh, typing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just okay, so I'll tell, I'll tell Pops to take uh, decisive on the back. Yeah, because you didn't even give him time. You literally just went attack and then said damage calc. Like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's your fault for even jumping straight into it. So put that, put him down, sit down. Number generated too strong. Lunar opened up with Tiki and Book of Moon. Number generated too strong, all right, Pops? Mm-hmm. All right. There we go. All right, sweet. Like I said, it's a good idea if, only, if and only if we didn't have that book of moon. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, this is one. The plus is if we were to do it on death row. Like, like, I think a good chunk of people are saying, oh, why don't you do this on death row? Like I said, this is obviously a benefit because then it could have been, oh, on attack declaration, book of moon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if you would have messed up, it would have been your fault. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is, like I said, everything on Dev Pro moves faster because it's all automated and stuff like that. So it's harder to commentate for us, at least, because everything's going faster. So by the time we've talked about something that's just happened, it's probably already gone. And then that'll be a snowball effect of everything going slower and slower and slower and slower and slower and slower. Yeah. This with this, it gives us time to commentate, to talk. So I'm assuming that when... Because the Cyberhammer could go off during damage step, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm assuming that he's pitching it now. I don't know why, but I'm assuming when uh, Lunar attacks it, during damage step, he's going to go ahead and pitch it to Cyberhammer to gain that 1,000 defense as well. I guess, yeah. And survive the attack. attack yeah. yeah, it is attack and defense. So. Mm hmm. It's not a terrible plan. It's just, yeah, I don't know, you just kind of threw it. <laughs> oh. No, he just throw it guy because he wants it to. He's like, nope, don't need the stars, farmer. Fuck it. Get out of here. <laughs> Get um, out of here. And doesn't come to the one that can attack directly. 
but the damage is halved, so. Yeah, I think it is. I don't remember the defense yeah, of the uh, princess. Can take you directly. Oh, that wasn't even that wasn't even princess. That was sorcerer. Might be. Yeah, sorcerer. So, attack, attack, and uh, comma three will not get her effect. <laughs> nope. Nope. T King, the double edged sword of awesomeness. I still t yeah. I still think personally T King is the is the strongest level four monster in, in all of Yu Gi Oh. Mm, yeah, I mean it's mistaken and it's black on as well. It's pretty powerful mm -hmm. in one card. And then 1900. I mean, if it had something like shitty stats, like say 1400 or 1300 or something like that, it wouldn't really be that bad of an issue. You just run over it before you do any of your searching or anything. But the fact that it's 1900, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass, especially mm. when they just go T King with a load of battery. Damn. Oh, well. Damn. And, and definitely with T King. I mean, it's like 1900. I gotta do an inherent summon just to get over 1900. But as soon as you inherit summon, it's a black you one. You neg, and then that's it. Everything all gone anyway. You know. Yep. So, you know, either you thanks figure out. Thanks, King. Yeah. yeah thanks, Thunder King. So either you figure out a way to get over T King without uh, inherently summoning, and take him out, or you just take the neg. And the problem with T King is you've got to do it quick because if you don't do it that there and then that turn straight away pretty much if you don't get over it it's just going to be a snowball effect again because they're going to have bat road to protect it or they're going to have monsters to help back it up and then you can't you know you're going to take more damage from it and stuff like that so it's just a, it's a pain it's... of a card. Yeah it is. It's, oh. it's a one for a reason. People are yeah. like no I'll put it at two or three it's not even that good like you're okay. crazy. <laughs> you're, you're crazy. You're, you're, it's, like, it's, like, it's like I don't get it. Nuts. It's like people complain about helmeting and and floodgates, but T King's a walking floodgate. Yeah. <laughs> like T King was here before mistake was even made. Yet people are like, "Oh man, fuck mistake! Mistake should be at one. It stops you from searching." T King does exactly the same thing as mistake does, except he's slapping you in the face for 1900 when he has no fucking arms. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's yeah. shocking your balls for 1900. So, uh, definitely. Uh, oh, and definitely one of the big problems uh, when it, uh, of course, came uh, Princess? to... Hang on, Princess Mulliganing, Princess Shrit Vela, Trish... Oh, Vela. Vela. Oh, yeah, okay. I was about to say, yeah. Yeah, okay. But, uh... And it seems like Necros, they, they have ups and downs with Tiki. Of course... Uh, one of the downs is you can't search, and definitely one of the best things about uh, Negros yeah, is that they they make their hands. <laughs> yeah, high consistency. Though. High consistency, so they make their hands. But then one of the things that uh, that's good about them fighting against T King, unlike other uh, decks, is that their ritual summons are not inherent. That is a, is a trigger summon, so yep. uh, it's not like they're you know like C or the Synchro. So if you can go ahead and go like, oh T King, oh that's cute. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just summon like a unicorn, run him over. There you go. So. <laughs> But it just didn't look like Pop had the hand. So that mulligan was totally justified. See, people? See, look. If if Pop didn't mulligan, this duel would be over in, like, less than ten minutes. Yeah, that it would. would make up for yesterday's video, though. No way, no way to search at all. Yeah, yeah yesterday should. <laughs> duel between Omega and Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, I like I said, these are recorded, obviously, ahead of time. So, yeah, but, whew, I tell you, I cannot wait to see, A, the comments on that video, and B... The uh, see how many people watch it compared to the other one because I'm guaranteeing with it being so long, hard, about probably a third of the people will watch it. So hopefully, I mean, T King is just the luck of the draw slash the number generator. There's not much we can do. We can't control that. <laughs> yeah. nope. But uh, the Mulligan, that's also one of the reasons why we're staying sticking here on uh, BM because you can't do that on freaking uh, yeah. on Death Pro. You know, that's not even possible. Like, oh yeah, well I mulligan, I want a mulligan, well I don't, well, then I guess we're starting this duel then, aren't we? So it's like, no, you know, so, this way Pops can mulligan, while Luna doesn't have to necessarily mulligan if he does not want to. Alright, now I see those two and two, the will change, he taps into Jin and Jin <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually talking about, I, um, you know the new Yu-Gi-Oh game, Legacy of the Duelist, I got that on my fucking, um, on my PS4, and... I've been playing the shit out of that. For some reason, Alexis Rhodes, her packs have Necros. <laughs> Not sure why she has fucking Necros, but okay. So I just went and built the bloody Necros deck and I managed to get a level chain and shit like that. So I've been going online just to gin locking the fuck out of everyone online. 
<laughs> I built my entire deck around the gin lock. Just get the gin lock nice and quick, and then just like you know the necros that protect like from being destroyed and shit like that, and like maining forbidden lamps and stuff like that. Like, yep, you ain't getting over me. You ain't getting over this Trish. It's got that gin. Well, Pop's definitely think... plus on that play. Started off with five, ended up with six, and it and and next to uh, Exian Tech the Goose Thermos technically seven. So from five yeah. to seven, that, that, that's some plusage. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab Except, that Phoenix Chain. I personally don't see Necros get... To, to hit Necros, the way that they're trying to hit them currently, going after the consistency, you have to hit so many fucking... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Now, now you get books. Fuck you, t -King. <laughs> you asshole. But yeah, like I said, the way they're going after Necro is currently hitting the consistency. I, wow. Look, wow. You got enough back row for the rest of the class over here? Like, no, holy no, shit, holy dude. shit, dude. Anyway, it's like, let me wrap this I'm up. Going after Necros, the, the way they are with the consistency, I just don't see it working out for them. You'd have to put so many fucking cards on the ban list, you know. So Not many. banned, obviously, but, you know, limited slash bin list, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You'd have to go, oh, this to one, and that to one, and this banned, and that to one, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. But if you just take out the teeth of Necros, they're just a very searchy ritual deck. It's no bite. It can gum you, and that's it. So what are you saying? Ban Trish? I'm saying go after the big guys, not go after the little guys. Go after yeah, the fucking big guys. Like, you know, you know, Aaron Trish. Three to Trish. one, fair enough. Ban the fucking Trish. Put a Valk to one. You go know that, that you then, know. Go after that, then what do they do? They drop a unicorn, maybe drop an odd Valk and drop a fucking, um, the I other mean, guy. I guess. And like I said, they ban Trish and ARG, and that deck is still topping over there, so. No, I know, but that's because they have Valks. Which are good as well, they tribute shit, and then if you run in the other shit, like the magicians or the dance princesses, you get your stuff back, you get more searches from Valk's effect while drawing and stuff like that. So they have triple Valk, they have, um, how many Brios do they have on ARG's list? Uh, two. Two Brio, when Brio should really be at one. They have, you know, they have triple of the, uh, the other guy, I forget his name, Gungnir, I think it is. Gungnir? Yeah, mm -hmm. Gungnir. You have Triple Gungnir, who's not a bad beater. You know, like I said, they just have quite a few nice cards. Still, but if you were to take their teeth out of them, you know, then what what are they doing? Oh, they're searching and they get pluses. Yeah, but if you haven't got any teeth to bite your opponent with, then what's the point? It doesn't make much difference. You know, you're just going to search a lot. That was a good play on Lunar's part to go ahead and yep. activate that. Yeah, I am also, you can't be like, oh... Banish the shrug. Yep. Let me shuffle it all back. No, no banish from Trish either. Uh huh. It's good. It's good. Taking, talking about taking out teeth. Luna said he's going to take out the teeth manually. Yeah. That emerald stand on the field, getting that effect off twice. The power. Oh. Emerald's still a good card. People like Emerald yeah, shit. I'm like, no, it's, it's pretty good still. <laughs> Call Ouch. It. Yeah, that hurts. That yeah, hurts real it. bad. And now, you, you got no, you got Iron Wall, and you got that TK. Now Luna is gonna go ahead and <laughs> activate, go ahead and activate, I was about to say, go ahead and activate a Tanky and get your search on Ben for the Tanky. <laughs> yes. Ow, so. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know what, I probably would've just went at, oh, I guess it's more damage. And right now, you're in a, you're in a set position, Lunar. That you don't even need to worry about it. And just like how Stu slapped the shit out of Necro's week one, it looks like <laughs> he's Luna gonna slap the shit out of him this week. No, bad Lunar. 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 <laughs> really Luna. big guy. Lunar. Lunar. <laughs> okay. Okay. Our back. Yeah. It's 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 cards added from hand. I'm so used yeah, to so I'm so used searching, to just searching, period. Yeah, I'm like, just ah. so searched to searching, period. It's from cards that go from from deck to hand, except by drawing them, so. I mean. You can go ahead and get the. the you can tanker. activate the two kings to get the point boost, and then you can throw the chair at it. Yeah, I think this might be it. Yeah, this, uh, this is not looking too good for him. I have to say, do you want to just activate the tanky just to go ahead and throw the chair? I mean, you're not going to get the search. The pressure yeah. is real. 
Not that you could activate your mirrors in the graveyard anyway. God damn. Setting an effect veiler. That's when you know you're fucking yeah, in trouble. Yeah, that's why. That's when you know. When you have to set an effect veiler, you know you are not having a good time. Mm -mm. That's so, no good. Luna did a slight misplay there. He really should have flipped the tanky up on main phase one, used bear effect, threw the chair at it, then got the direct attacks in, and then got the bear effect to set the tanky again. You wouldn't have been able to get the search, but you could still flip the tanky up to get the point boost, so it would have done an extra 100 points of damage. So, you know. Mm -hmm. And you might have been even low enough to uh, hit him with a cowboy. I don't think you would have, but... Have you noticed... What? What about what? Thunder King's effect? The power? The power yeah. of the T-King? But, no, it should be at, it should be at 2 or 3. No. It's, it's bad. No. GG, <laughs> damn! That's it, that's it! Oh, pop! Oh my god. Wow. Uh, I, you know what? I feel really bad for these people who, they have still have zero points. Like, I feel really bad. <laughs> yep. Ouch. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Number generator plus T-King being a boss ass bitch. Plus back row. Plus back row, you know? Fuck you. That wins games. Like, T-King plus back row wins games. Yeah, people are like, oh yeah, T-King should go up to like two or three. Like, no! That Whoa, might increase the consistency no. of a guy who can literally win duels by himself. Plus back row. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Mistake plus black one. Two of the most powerful trap cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Let's up it. Like, no. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, oh, my God. Damn. What's that? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Lunar gets two points, people. Yep. All right. So there we go. That was a short one in comparison that to. That was a short one. Hey, yeah, that was I don't a short mind one that. Comparison to the long one yesterday. Comparison to the long ones where I had to go get a fucking drink. It took that long. I'm like, oh fuck, let's me on a drink. Fuck professionalism. So there you go, people. So does anybody think that teaching teaching should go up after that? I do. Teaching literally just beat the shit out of arguably the strongest deck of the format. Teaching. Slap the shit out of Pops, and he has no hands. <laughs> Alright, people. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. You know, our bad. We almost fucked up there. We almost fucked up there. And I, I had to remember. I was we like, almost wait. like, no, you can't search. Oh, wait. Uh, it's adding to field, not to hat. I know. I just thought it was searching, period. But no. And yeah. then at least I was car adding cards from their uh, okay, to the hand, except I drawing them. RB. RB. So before you guys crucify us, we think we, we cut it. you, nearly make a mistake. I'm going to fucking kill you. Back in my day, we didn't Yu-Gi-Oh as bad as you. Hey, I'm just saving everyone in the comments sometime. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll just go ahead and kill ourselves right now, so you guys. Don't oh, I've have already to do got it. the rope. I've already got the rope. You know. All right, so I guess we won't see you in match four this week because we're gonna go no. kill ourselves for being bad. See you later, guys. <laughs> Bye. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, people. We'll see you guys in uh, Natural as zombies. <laughs> uh... All right, people. Thanks for watching.